Hi everyone. Today is June 1st, so I thought we would do something similar to what we did in April, which was to do a daily challenge, because I really enjoy seeing all the different interpretations of the prompts. And for the month of June, it is going to be focused on shapes. And shapes are the building blocks of everything that we draw and paint. So I figured it would be a good exercise to um, work on different interesting shapes for the prompts. Um, Bosley's in the back. He's mad at me. He thought that we were done on for May. And then I told him, no, we still have a little over two weeks left of school. And he was just like, I don't want to be, I don't want to do these videos anymore. They're so boring. So he's, look at, he's not even facing this way. Anyway, so for today's prompt to kick off June 1st, it is ice cream. Isn't that a great shape? You can do so many different things with that prompt. You can do some drawing, you can do some painting. It doesn't have to be um, plain ice cream. It could be in a cone, it could be a sundae. I'm going to share with you some different um, collage art done by artists that might inspire you if you wanna do a collage ice cream. That's what I'm going to do for my prompt. Um, so that is our June 1st prompt and I'm excited to um, continue with this. So tomorrow will be another prompt. Share your work with me in Google Classroom. Hopefully Bosley will um, be in the videos with me. Bosley, are you mad at me? Come here. Bosley, here. Here he comes. Good boy. Hi, baby. Okay. Anyway, that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. And Bosley will be back. Hey, baby. I wanted to share with you the um, paintings done by an artist named Wayne Thiebaud and he did all sorts of different types of paintings but I wanted to show you the ones that he did of ice cream and these are like what you would consider I guess a still life uh, observational drawing and um, here's some more he has them in those little ice cream stands so I just wanted to show you some um, paintings done by an uh, artist that used this as one of his ideas for his artworks to inspire you. And then I also um, looked up just, I know what an ice cream cone looks like, but I just wanted to look at it once more to inspire me. Maybe I will add the drips down here, like it's melting. Um, these are all solid colors. Maybe I will mix them up. Maybe I'll add sprinkles or um, whipped cream. So these are all things that you can think about when you design your project. So for my collage, which is cutting and gluing, um, all I have is just a plain piece of white paper. And I am going to look through a magazine and find some different colors um, to make my ice cream cone. If you um, remembered back in the examples that I showed you of different collage artists, I really, really liked how some of them use magazine pictures to make their collages. If you don't have magazines and you wanna do something like this, um, look at that cute little dog. Um, use a newspaper if you have that. Um, or you can even just use plain paper. So what I would do is first I am going to decide on the colors that I need. I love these cookies. Um, I think I love strawberry ice cream. So when I look here, I can see there's like different values. So that's the lightness and darkness of a color. So there's like a light pink and a medium pink and a darker pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search through my magazine and find um, different shades of pink. I'm just going to rip them out and then I'll cut them up. And I think I'm going to do a combination of plain paper for the cone or maybe even a paper bag because I love mixing different materials. So I'm going to get started on this and then I will catch up with you in a bit. 
Okay, so here is my cone. I um, used a brown paper bag and I just cut out this shape for the cone. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of like sketch the shape of the scoop of ice cream, just so I can kind of get an idea of how much I need to cover with my magazines. This is just a guide. I don't need to copy it exactly, but I just know that, all right, this is where my scoop is gonna go. So I cut up all of my pink types of papers. And, you know, if I was smart, I would have divided them up into um, different shades, like the dark pinks and the light pinks, but they're all mixed up, so whatever. It's fine. I did cut them up into random shapes. Um, you could also rip them. That would kind of give it another um, cool look, you know what I mean, ripping the paper. Um, but because this is a small space, I'm going to just take my glue stick and I am going to get this all sticky. And then I am going to um, fill my cone up with the um, pieces of magazines that I cut. Now, because I don't want it to look sharp, like sharp edges, I am going to take the time to cut um, some rounded shapes where um, I want it to not have a sharp edge, like, you know, the scoop part right here. I want it to be rounded. I think it'll just look. So I'm just going to take you know, the time, which, is, which isn't a lot, and it'll just look a little bit better. Um, and also when I get to this part of my scoop, I will do the same thing. Remember, I'm just gonna cut up the mountain and down the mountain to get that shape. And then that will be like a rounded, a rounded shape for that. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so here, okay, so here is my finished um, ice cream cone, and I did um, the different shades of pink, which I kind of actually like the way it looks. Um, I actually want to put more of a darker value across here to show the scoops, though. So I'm just gonna go like that because I am referring to my photo. See how there's this, this darker value to show that? So there we go. Okay, and also it has the waffle cone. So I'm just gonna draw with um, this brown marker, this brush marker, oops. Um, some diagonal lines going this way and then some lines going this way. Okay, and so that looks you know, now it totally looks like an ice cream. Now, because I did it on white paper, it looks so boring. So what I'm gonna do is add um, color in the background. I could paint it all one color, I could blend it. I'm actually going to use some um, watercolor. So I am going to um, maybe just go around this and just finish off my ice cream this way for the background. I don't know, it just gives it more of a finished look. So I can't wait to see how you um, create your ice cream art. We haven't done a collage project in like a while. So I really wanted to do one, but you don't have to. You can create it in however um, manner you wish. So remember for the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, we're doing our art prompts based on shape, interesting shapes. So I hope you enjoy this. Ice cream is a perfect prompt for this time of year. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.